Hey, what's happening, guys? Today, I want to talk a little bit about the math that goes into voltage dividers because I've had a couple of questions from folks who've gotten a grasp on it but just don't quite get everything where we're at yet. So, this is a basic two resistor voltage divider. We have VCC, it goes directly to R1. R1 is connected to R2, which is connected to ground. Now, if these are the same, well, then it's pretty easy. This point here, this node will be one half of VCC. But what if they're not the same? What if this one is 62K and this one is 470 kilo ohms? Now, I just made those numbers off the top of my head. They don't mean anything. But, so... We have resistor 1, resistor 2. Then we will also be able to measure voltage 1 and voltage 2. And of course, our voltage over the entire thing which we would call E. So now, let's say, what is our VCC? Well, let's say it is 10 volts DC. So, we need to know other values. Because what we know at this point right now is the basic voltage divider equation. So that basic formula is E at N is equal to E total times resistor N over resistor total. That's your basic formula. So we know E right now, right? So E is equal to 10 volts DC. That's the voltage we're feeding into it. So E is also equal to V1 plus V2. V1 and V2, and if we knew either the current passing through these or the value of these resistors, then we could figure out E bytes just by knowing those two things. Well, let's break it down some more. What else do we know? Well, we know that V1 is equal to R1 that's a 1. V1 is equal to R1 times I, times the current. Remember Kirchhoff's law. Current's the same. Well, then, if we know this, we know that the same thing is true for V2 equals R2 times I. Are you with me so far? Therefore... E is also equal to R1 times I plus R2 times I. And if we simplify that down, we can say that E is equal to I times R1 plus R2. And now we can spin it around. And we can say that the current is equal to the voltage divided by R1 plus R2. So now that we know all of these formulas, if we have one more piece of information, then 
we can solve this voltage divider. So let's say we're given another piece of information. For instance, let's say we're given, I forgot to leave a hole there, I, the current, which would flow in this direction. This will make people very happy. And let's say we've been told our current is one milliamp. Well, now we know two out of three things, right? We know that the voltage of the entire circuit or our voltage in I guess you call it our feed voltage is 10 volts DC and we know that the current is 1 milliamp well now we could also calculate power if we wanted to right So our power is 0 0.01 milliwatts. But let's pop some of this into an equation here. Let's solve for V1. Let's say we've also been given V2, which is... one kilo ohm all right that's supposed to be r i apologize so r2 so now we can take all these equations we have up here and we're now solving for r1 and we can say that r1 is equal to R2 times E over our out voltage minus R2 times E over out minus one all right now it's getting a little more complicated but we're still there and by the way what we're calling our out voltage would be the voltage measured at that point there so the last thing we would have to do is measure across here to get our out voltage And we will call it 3 volts DC. And if you plug all of that information into here now, what you're going to come up with is R1 is equal to 233.333. Two and a third. I'm sorry, 2,333 ohms. So basically a 2K resistor. So now we know R2 is 1K, R1 is, we'll call it 2.2, it's close enough, 2.2K. We know our out is 3 volt, we know our in is 10 volts, and we know our current here is 1 milliamp. And basically, folks, that is the whole game once you have these formulas here you can spin them around in any way you want to solve for the missing piece of the puzzle
I know, it's Monday morning. That was a lot of math for Monday morning. Let me check with the boss. Dogley, do you think we have enough math for a Monday morning, or should we do more math? Dogley says, no more math. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you guys for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.